Well, mission accomplished. Uh, do, you, do you fret some of the details uh, as opposed to looking at the results at the end of the day? Oh, I think that's what we do as coaches is fret the details and we've got some time to do that to regroup before we get to go play on home ice but certainly got what we wanted out of this uh, these two road games here in terms of the results uh, and some of the things we did were real good you know there were some really positive signs it's a team that you know, is well uh, well regarded as a hard-working group and they don't go away and and uh, they're making it hard on us and uh, you know we're finding some things out about our team which are positive to me the things that are coming out of it you know we're giving up uh, one goal here in, in the two hockey games for you know a team that's been having to really work at its play away from the puck and things like that. So uh, some positive signs. We're going to continue to get better and we have time to do so and we're re really excited to get on home ice at the Rico. Twitter responded uh, to your changing of goaltenders. They thought maybe differently but you look back on the decision and it certainly paid off well and I guess the big plan is if you're going to go as deep as you'd like to go you're going to have to have both these guys going. Yeah, we like to keep both guys engaged and we thought we had the ability to do that. It's obviously back-to-back -back games here today and, uh, you know, Beebs, uh, Beebs fought a little bit of a cold uh, you know, all week long and, and, you know, just thought it was the right thing to do, the right opportunity to do so. And we felt confident putting Sparksy in, obviously, so we're happy the way he played. I think our guys played real well in front of him. I think in terms of our chances and the dangerous shots we gave up, they were few and far between. Um, so the guys that work in front of him, but it's a pretty good team effort in terms of uh, you know helping Sparksy out today and like I said we'll, we'll uh, fine-tune some things here over the next couple days give the guys some rest and get, get back to home ice. Connor Brown uh, battling a cold as well but he's a gamer isn't he when you look at the games he put for you in back-to-back -back nights. Yeah he's you know he's a guy that brings it every day whether it's regular season or playoffs but he certainly seems like he's found another level and it's not exactly a playoff type atmosphere in here but uh, he's in Intense. He's competitive and he wants our team to do really well. He's a real driver of things for us in all areas of the game. So he's, you know, it's good to see him get on the sheet uh, both games uh, here so far in the series. But he does far more than just uh, produce points for us. We're happy to have him a part of things. We'll end it on this. Power play opened up with a goal for you yesterday. Looking at what you saw here today, what needs to be done maybe to get a little more fluidity to the man advantage situation for you? Yeah, I think just our breakout and getting through the neutral zone cleanly would help our cause uh, greatly. I thought we did some good things yesterday on the power play, not just getting the goal, but uh, getting some opportunities and some real, you know, uh, action around the net. Today, not so much, although I thought our first power play, we did have a couple looks around there, but it, it got quite sloppy after that. Uh, thankfully for us, our penalty kill was up to the task today. I thought some of the adjustments we made uh, paid off real well, uh, so credit to Gordon, his group, and, and uh, the players for getting out and getting it done.